morning, everybody. It is coffee time. <laughs> and I've got a nice little old hat with the feather on it. You know, I used to have one like that. But I never did wear it out in public. It was more for entertainment purposes. Windy day, one more day of this. Mm. No, we got several more days of this. It's chilly. You know, yesterday I had a tank top, today I got a sweatshirt. Or a, a hoodie or whatever you want to call them. It's just really been <clears throat> all night long wind. I mean, you know, all I need to do is set some music to it and I'd have some rock and roll music going with the band. <laughs> um, yesterday, my IBS was really acting up. Uh, in case some of you don't know what IBS is, it is irritable bowel syndrome. And there's two different types. And uh, I'm sorry, but I've got to explain what it is, you know. <laughs> so, uh, one of them is constipation. I don't have that one. I have the opposite. Yes. I have the kind that you better be near a toilet at all times until it's over with. <laughs> I took uh, some anti-diarrhea medicine, and, oh my god, it, miserable day, my stomach really was upset, except I still did something I shouldn't do. I mean, I was in the van all day, I really didn't get out, uh, except when Lisa came over and said, Jerry's cooking some boudin, and ah, honey, the word boudin was all I had to hear, because I love boudin, and it's like to me, I think it's a Cajun-type sausage that is just out of this world. The spices that they put in it, and I believe it's rice also that they put in it. It, it is just out of this world. For me, anyway. <laughs> what are they, what's it saying? It's to die for. Well, I'm not going to die for it, but <laughs> it is good. But anyway... I did eat that, and I figured it wasn't going to hurt me any more than when my stomach was upset. I mean, it couldn't make it any worse, which it didn't. Uh, by evening time, it was settling down some, and uh, that was okay. At least I knew that I might have a better day tomorrow, so I do have a better day. Um, but it is chilly, and I do not like this kind of weather, and I am not coming here next winter. I am not. I love the place. It is nice. It's great to be at. The view is wonderful, but the wind is unmerciful. It's constant, which makes something that can be so enjoyable into something that can be so miserable. So I, and I'm thinking about going to Florida. Uh, like, not, no, not South Florida all the way south, but like Midway. Uh, it's a lot warmer there. And uh, I'll probably be inland. I, I can always drive to the beach if I want to be at the beach, but I think I'll be inland. Um, after hurricane season. <laughs> I was in Florida last year. I was going to go down to see my son. And Michael came in. And well, I think the name of the town was Mexico City, it or Mexican City. It demolished it. Um, and oh my goodness, all those blackbirds trying to fly against the wind. <laughs> They're trying to go forward and be pushed back. I don't know how those little body, body, body bodies can do that. But anyway, as I was saying. Um, it, when he came in, I saw that it was coming in the direction of where I was camping out at in Florida. And uh, I left the day before it hit. I wasn't going to take no chance. So I haven't seen my son yet. I haven't gone to Key West yet. And I want to do both of that. So I don't know. I don't know when I'll be able to. But it, I will not be down in that area around hurricane season again. No way, no way, no way. Um, I am going to gradually work my way north. 
and then I'm thinking about going northwest during the summer, but I'm not sure, you know, it all depends on this vehicle, okay? There's a few things I still got to do to it. I need to get a grease job on it. I definitely do. I need to make sure everything is okay down there by the, where the wheels are. Um, somehow I got to get me a spare because I don't have a spare. And I don't know where I'm going to stick it at, but probably in my little trailer back there. I can always work that out. Um, and... Uh, I'm, I'm going to kind of work my way northwest. I'll either go to Montana or I would love to go to Oregon, but that might not be this coming this year. I don't know yet, but I would like that. But I've thought about Colorado. It'd be nice spending the summer there. It's that, Colorado's beautiful. Oh, what a... Oh, there goes a... Pelican, man, he is so pretty, just flying away. You know what's so cool is they just flap their wings, you know, and then all of a sudden they start to glide, and they'll be right down, not very far from the water. It's like they almost touch the water, and they just glide across it. It is so cool to watch them. They're interesting. And there's a crane out here, and that crane has got a neck like a giraffe. I mean, that is a long neck. I don't know how he gets around. Oh, gosh. But, uh, anyway, y'all, uh, after I gave you my medical problems, <laughs> like you really wanted to hear that first thing in the morning, uh, I am feeling good right now. I feel a lot better. I know my back is going to act up. I mean, I'm not I'm not predicting it to, I, because I want it. No, I don't, but I know my back. But like I said in my earlier videos, I am going to make an appointment when I know I'm going to head to Louisiana. I am going to make an appointment with my doctor and have an MRI done on my back and uh, to see how much more deterioration there is. Uh, my knees, I, they act up every so often, but I do have crutches that were given to me. What a blessing, because sometimes I have needed it. And, uh, anyway, I, uh, I want to just get, you know, blood work the whole nine yards just to make sure I'll be okay for a while. <laughs> and to know what is wrong, because my back has been really extremely hurting me from my waist down and I mean my waist is just whoa it's nothing but fire uh, it, it's like somebody is sticking a hot poker on my back and that happens when I walk a little bit it happens when I sit for a little while so I'm kind of like up and down up and down but anyway guys until later or tomorrow <laughs> love you all hugs Peace, and thank you for watching.